more hostages set to be freed as hopes grow for longer Gaza truce. Israel and Hamas are said to be open to a longer pause in fighting, as more hostages and prisoners are due for release. Gazans use truce to search for loved ones. Six French teenagers on trial over teacher's murder. The suspects are accused of inciting the murder and pointing out the teacher to the killer. The teacher, Samuel Patty, was beheaded in October 2020 after showing cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in a class on freedom of expression. Shock as New Zealand acts as world first smoking ban. Health experts are appalled as the new government plans to repeal the policy to fund tax cuts. The policy, which was passed in August 2021, would have banned the sale of tobacco products to anyone born after 2004. China investigates major shadow bank for crimes. Zhongji Enterprise, one of China's biggest shadow banks, has lent billions to real estate firms. The investigation comes amid a crackdown on the country's debt-ridden property sector. Oscar Pistorius to be released on parole as Riva Steenkamp's mother warns he has not been rehabilitated after murder. The former Paralympic athlete, who shot and killed his girlfriend in 2013, will be freed on December 10 after serving half of his 13-year sentence. Merriam-Webster's 2023 Word of the Year is the real deal. The dictionary publisher announced that the word authentic has been chosen as the word of the year, reflecting the public's desire for honesty and integrity in a turbulent time. How Cape Town is learning to live with baboons. The city is home to about 500 baboons who often raid homes and businesses for food. A team of rangers is trying to keep them away from human settlements and protect them from poachers. Chinese court starts hearing lawsuits against Malaysia Airlines over missing flight MH370. The families of 153 Chinese passengers on board the ill-fated flight are seeking compensation and answers from the airline. The flight disappeared in March 2014 en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. Israel's farms need foreign laborers. The Hamas attacks triggered an exodus. The recent conflict between Israel and Hamas has caused many foreign workers, mainly from Thailand, to flee the country. The workers are vital for Israel's agricultural sector, which is now facing a labor shortage. Truce gives Gazan's moment to breathe and reveals scale of devastation. The four-day pause in hostilities has allowed Gazans to return to their homes and assess the damage caused by the Israeli airstrikes. Many have lost everything and are in need of humanitarian aid. Three dead, two critically injured in early Sunday morning shooting in Winnipeg, Canada. The police are investigating the motive behind the shooting, which took place at a house party. The victims are all in their 20s and 30s, and the suspect is still at large. Who are the hostages released so far in the Israel-Hamas deal? The deal, which was brokered by Qatar and Egypt, involves the release of 1,111 Palestinian prisoners and 17 Israeli hostages. So far, 10 Israelis and 100 Palestinians have been freed, including children and women. Israeli president talks hostages, truces, and criticizes Irish PM's tweet in CNN interview. President Isaac Herzog spoke to CNN's Christian Amanpour about the ongoing negotiations with Hamas, the prospects of a lasting peace, and his disappointment with the Irish Prime Minister's tweet that compared the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to the Irish Troubles. Russia destroys Ukrainian drones including over Moscow, Defense Ministry says. The Russian military claims that it has shot down several Ukrainian drones that were conducting reconnaissance missions over Russian territory, including the capital Moscow. Ukraine denies the allegations and accuses Russia of escalating the tensions. Death toll from flooding in Somalia climbs to nearly 100. Heavy rains have caused rivers to overflow and inundate several regions of the country, displacing thousands of people and destroying crops and infrastructure. The government has declared a state of emergency and appealed for international assistance. November's full beaver moon will shine bright this weekend. The full moon of November, also known as the Beaver Moon, will reach its peak on Saturday night. The name comes from the Native American tradition of setting beaver traps before the winter freeze. Rocky hostage release underscores fragility of deal between Israel and Hamas. The first phase of the hostage exchange was marred by delays and confusion, as both sides accused each other of violating the terms of the agreement. The deal is seen as a test of trust and goodwill between the longtime enemies. 
Russia launches biggest drone attack against Kyiv since start of war, Ukrainian officials say. The Ukrainian military says that it has repelled a massive attack by Russian-backed separatists using drones and artillery in the eastern Donbass region. The attack comes amid rising fears of a full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine. Israel at war with Hamas, a selection of photos from the recent conflict between Israel and Hamas, which lasted for 11 days and killed more than 250 people, mostly Palestinians. The week in 34 photos, a look at some of the most striking images from around the world in the past week, including the COP28 climate summit, the Omicron variant scare, and the Thanksgiving parade.